Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Devo. So glad uh, you joined us today. Let's worship together this morning. Grace that flows like a river Washing over me Found us heavy Love of Christ overflowing me. Thank you, Jesus. You set me free. Christ, my Savior, is rescued. Welcome to our morning devos. Hey, before I go into Colossians chapter one, just want to encourage you. Maybe you're watching this for the first time and you don't know we have a church app called Celebration USA. You can go to that app. It's free. Download it. It's a great way to stay connected and know what's going on in the life of the church. And perhaps you and your family would love to get connected and we would love to do life with you. We here at Celebration Church, we're not just a church, but we're family. Well, I'm going to read out of Colossians uh, chapter one, starting with verse 21, and I'm reading out of the Passions translation today. And it says it like this, even though that you were once distanced from him, living in the shadows of your evil thoughts and actions, he reconnected you back to himself 
He released his supernatural peace to you through the sacrifice of his own body as a sin payment on your behalf so that you would dwell in his presence. And now there is nothing between you and Father God, for he sees you as holy, flawless, and restored. I'm going to focus, there's so much actually in this verse, in this chapter, but I'm going to focus on this particular uh, verse here and notice what it says here. And now there's nothing between you and Father God. Now listen to this, listen, for he sees you as holy, flawless, and restored. He sees you restored. He sees you flawless and he sees you holy. He sees you holy. I want to encourage you today. I want you to see yourself the way God sees you. He sees you through his son, Jesus Christ. And when he looks at you, he looks at Christ. When he looks at you, he sees you holy. When he looks at you, he sees you flawless. When he looks at you, he sees you completely restored. Now, I need you to see yourself the way he sees you. And this is how you have to renew your mind with the word of God. I would highly encourage you to meditate on what I'm sharing with you today here. When we read out of Colossians chapter one, verse 21 through 22, meditate. That word meditate means to ponder, to think on, to dwell on, to murmur, to speak my encouragement to all of us today is begin to renew your mind with the word of God. And as you begin to renew your mind with God's word, you begin to think like God and you begin to see how God sees and you begin to see yourself holy like God sees you holy. You are different. You've been set apart. You've been chosen by God and God sees you holy. God sees you set apart. God sees you different and God sees you flawless. And the reason why you and I are flawless is because of the precious blood of Jesus. You and I have been cleansed and washed by the blood of Jesus. So you are flawless and then you are restored, complete restoration. All has been restored and above and beyond more. God has blessed you. You've been restored because of Jesus. Thank God for the precious blood of Jesus that you and I can come before God flawless, restored, holy because of Jesus Christ. Let that encourage you today. Don't let the enemy lie to you. Don't let your guilt, your shame of what you've done in the past define what God says about you, what God thinks about you. You are a brand new creation. You are valued and you are spotless and you are blameless because of Jesus. See yourself like God does. How? by renewing your mind with the word of God. And then you begin to think like him and you begin to see yourself the way he sees you. Let's pray. God, I just thank you that you made us holy through Christ. God, I thank you that you reconnected us back to him. God, I thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding. God, I thank you that there was a, a payment that took our sin on our behalf, that we can dwell in your presence and that we are holy because of Christ, flawless because of Christ, and then we've been restored because of Christ. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for being with us. You all have a great rest of the day.